What is up, YouTube? It is Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. And how many of you out there are sick of advertisements taking you to another site, taking you into iTunes, or you keep closing it out and it keeps coming back? If you agree with me, hit that subscribe button. All right, today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of those pesty advertisements without having to spend any money or anything like that. This is the free version of getting rid of advertisements 101. Okay, now the, today guys, I want to first let you know that I make some of my living through advertisements and I want you to know that I'm not talking about just the subtle advertising on YouTube. I'm talking about those applications that just keep opening up ads and will not take no for an answer. Or the ones that redirect you into iTunes and try to get you to download applications or take you to sites that you don't want to be on, insight from Safari, that kind of thing. The ad blockers I'm showing you here today will help you when you're surfing Safari and using those applications and prevent you from being taken to those kind of places, okay? Plus, you can do a whole lot more. All right, what we're going to be doing in here today basically is setting up what is called a VPN, okay? And you need to make up your mind before we start. You can either download iCare Phone or there's another one called Never Ads, okay? Both of those are pretty good, but I prefer iCare Phone. But either one of them will work. And on top of that, I would like for you to also add one blocker, the number one. So you need to download two apps. You need to download iCare Phone or Never Ads, but I prefer iCare Phone, and one blocker. One blocker is going to give you some extra coverage, okay? So be sure you add that one in there to it. Once you get those downloaded, come back. You can pause the video, download them, and come back, okay? Now, don't forget when you hit the pause button to hit the subscribe button. Do it, 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 okay? Now, once you have those downloaded, you need to open up settings. Inside settings, you need to scroll down to where it says Safari. Tap Safari, scroll down to where it says Content Blockers. Inside Content Blockers, you need to turn on I Care Phone, okay? It will be turned off. You need to turn it on, okay? On, all right? Such as that right there. Once you have it turned on, You need to close all of your applications, okay? Open up your app switcher and just go through and close all of your apps, okay? Once you have that done, then this is going to make sure everything is enabled once we start back up. So, <clears throat> if you wanted to open up Safari, you could open up Safari and go in there. We'll do that just in a minute, but just make sure everything's enabled correctly. Let's open up iCare Phone. Inside of our care phone, you got some options in here. In the center right here, you're going to have to enable. I've already enabled mine, of course. At the bottom where it says Safari Ad Blockers, tap that. And in here, you can choose some different options. There where it says Save Cellular Data, Enjoy the Plain Text. Uh, I, do, I, I want my pictures, okay? Uh, where it says Filter, uh, Special Filter Fonts, Save Cellular Data, and re Reduce Interruption. That's going to be left up to you whether or not you want to just use plain tech, uh, plain font all the time. Uh, it's not really a big deal. Block pop-ups, stop pop-ups in Safari. Hell yeah. Disable third-party cookies. Hell yeah. Uh, block bad websites. Probably, but I don't have that one turned on, and I'll show you why in a moment. Okay. Now. Once you have that turned on, open up one blocker. Inside one blocker, you're going to have a ton of options. Now, guys, if you wanted to upgrade a, uh, it would probably be worth it, but iCare Phone combined with this one here is going to get you the coverage you need probably about equal to a paid version. 
so that's going to be left up to you. you see if you turn some if you just turn one thing on that's all you can turn on uh, then you have to hit later uh, but you can see you can choose from one thing or the other down through there so if you had something on Facebook bugging you or Twitter uh, if you wanted to block share widgets comments adult sites if any parents out there are watching and you've got kids and you want to you want to turn this on you can go in here and set this up if you want to block hardsextube.com porn.com all the porn sites right here uh, if you didn't know what they were kids here they are <laughs> I'm just saying you know I mean that is pretty silly that they list them out there for you like don't go here blah 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 dot com don't go to dot dot com <laughs> I mean, come on. anyway uh, you can just do a number of things here but 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 this is a very good blocker and one I recommend you use uh, so now if we open Safari up and go in here and play one of iPhone, iPhone captains videos you'll notice that there isn't any advertising damn man now I can't make any money so guys like I said I do earn a living through advertising that's not the kind I'm talking about I'm talking about the kind that just will not go away this is for non jailbroken devices you do not have to be jailbroken to use this hit that subscribe button before you leave today or I'm going to come to your home do it favorite comment and subscribe on this video three things before you leave favorite comment and subscribe don't go to them porn sites either guys